Okay, welcome back to my playthrough of um, Victory and Glory, American Civil War. This is the third episode. We are up to October of 1861. It looks like the Union already has nearly overwhelming force compared to the Confederacy. Um, there are 15 Union formations, that's infantry, cavalry, artillery, in Chicago versus basically eight in St. Louis. There's 18 around Cincinnati and Indianapolis compared to, it looks like about um, 16 for the Confederates, so outnumbered there by a little bit. And then around uh, in the Northeast, there are about 12 versus about 12. So it's pretty even there, I guess. Um, let's see, what am I missing? I'm probably missing some more Union troops, but we did just win a major battle um, near Louisville, which helps. Um, let's see what we have to do this turn. First, let's look at event cards. Uh, Union General relieved of command. We're saving this for Grant, so nothing to do here. Look at our uh, blockade runners. Let's go ahead and send out the one that's in port. He's in city of Savannah. So we'll send him out there. And then we have one waiting to return. We can return him also to Savannah since it's not blockaded. Let's go ahead and execute this, which should bring me a little bit of money four dollars okay so that's it for the blockade runners um, if we look at the overall um, my will to fight's gone up Con uh, union will to fight has gone down European intervention though has unfortunately gone down um, troops I guess it's not as bad as it looks to me on the front line it's 36 to 34 for infantry 6 to 5 for cavalry and 96 for artillery so this is good the problem is that there are about one, two, three, four, five, something like six ports that the Confederacy, or eight, seven ports the Confederacy has to garin, garrison. And each of those takes about two troops to garrison. So that's about 14 troops off of the front line. So even though it doesn't look that bad here on the front line, it's, it's worse. Um, Union has five warships, two ironclads, one river gunboat. They lost one attacking one of my cities. Um, I've got f five blockade runners, and um, monthly revenue is even at 12-12, so that's good. But the Union gets a lot of cards that give them troops and money. Okay, so um, what do we want to do here this turn? Uh, I don't think I want to advance here at Chicago where I'm outnumbered. I do think I want to keep pushing around Louisville if I can. So let's see what we have. We have units without a leader here. We also have two troops here without a leader. And then we have four leaders with our main army uh, outside of Louisville. So I think what I'll do here is um, let's try to consolidate things. So this group will move into the area outside of Louisville. And um, maybe I can attack Cincinnati next turn. So let's actually combine, I think, them with the army already there. And then let's bring the troops out of Louisville and into this army also. So now we have 16 troops. Next turn, we can try to, I, I think it's one move from this province into Cincinnati, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So we'll see. Maybe I can attack Cincinnati next turn. Um, then I've also got, if we look at the pop-up or blowout map here. Um, I'll take these eight into the area around Baltimore and that's basically a bunch of leaders without many troops. And then um, we also can grab down here, I've got three troops with a leader and I can send those also to join um, Actually, where do I want to send them? I guess I'll send them into Baltimore. Um, and then I will... Let's see if I can find them. I'm going to move them, I think, out of Baltimore to join the army there. And actually, I might bring... I don't know if Baltimore can be invaded by sea. I suspect it can. So I think I'll leave the two troops there and leave this army with uh, whatever strength it has, which is 11. 
it's actually not strong enough to do anything. So I might just be moving it back into Baltimore next turn. I'm not sure, but for now, this is what we'll do. These guys should be in DC. I think they are. Uh, and that's really all I can do for the turn. I don't think I can do anything else. So I will move on to the next turn. See what the Union does. They got a new general. Their gunboats are hitting St. Louis. With no effect. Puts firing pads outside of Norfolk and outside of Mobile. Attack the mobile, no effect. They're railing to defend Philly. I like that because it's troops out of Cincinnati, that's good. Forced March, that's interesting. They're coming in to battle me outside of St. Louis. Hmm. Thomas, 11 infantry and one cavalry. I've got five infantry, two cavalry and an artillery. Oh, they have three artillery also. So I am almost two to one outnumbered. So I'm going to attempt to retreat. I failed to retreat. There's a decent chance I'm going to get overrun here because this is a large battle. I have to defend three areas with only uh, eight troops, so that's going to be very tough to do. It would be much easier if it were a small battle. You can see they can fill every spot with three still in reserve. I don't have any battle cards. Yes, this is going to be really rough. Uh, and I don't even have a good defensive terrain, actually. This uh, cornfields terrain is only good for um, cavalry to defend in. And if they advance here, they're going to have a ridge to put their artillery on and forest. So honestly, I really need to advance here to take this terrain, I think. And even here, the only thing I have is one cornfield, and they have a city and woods, which is much better. Um, over here, again, they've got great just terrain that actually matches up. So uh, really tough situation for defensive terrain. And in terms of number of troops, this, is, this could be really ugly. Um, so let's see what we can do. We have one artillery. Let's go ahead and stick it, I think, on this ridge. And I'll try to defend over here. Let me give it, I need an infantry to support it. So um, I'll put a smooth bore Missouri infantry here to try to keep it supported. Um, in the center, I really think I'm going to want to move forward in the center if I can. So. Let's um, maybe put an infantry and boy, it's going to be really hard here to hold this with as few troops as I have. And on the right also, I want to move forward. So um, I'll put an infantry, a cavalry. Um, I think maybe I'll also stick a cavalry I'm not sure what to do here. I'll stick a cavalry here. And then I guess I'll last infantry here. So this will give me three units in each of these areas. Um, I'll put out some core commanders. I want to oppose their best core commander, I guess, with Forrest. And then they don't have any core commanders on the other flanks. So um, potentially I can, I guess I'll put a core commander here. thinking about putting a cavalry on the left because I have the cornfields, but I think I'll leave it as it is. This is going to be a tough, tough battle. I think I'll lose. Okay, so it looks like they got the initiative. They took up the good terrain, so there's no way that I can now advance here. Um, I think I might wait to fire, though, to see if he moves anything else up into the open terrain so that I can shoot them. On this side, I might take a shot at their artillery. I think I'm, or something else. Let's see what I can get. Plus three. 
there's a plus three or a plus two versus the arty. I think I might go with the plus three versus the infantry just to try to reduce their numbers. That is a rifled artillery though. He's very good at long range. Let's shoot at him. Oh, I missed. Um, and then over here, I could move forward or I can wait for them. Again, they're gonna have great terrain for their artillery if they move forward. I think I'm gonna wait so I can get the first shots. Um, so I think I'll take one shot here. At this infantry, nothing. I'll also take a shot at this at one of these units. Let's try to hit the artillery. He evaded. Another shot here at the. Let's get the infantry that I have the best chance at, plus six. I disrupted myself. That's not good. Um, over here, it looks like they took the forest. I'm tempted to just wait. Let me go ahead and take a shot. Do I want to take a shot here? As soon as I shoot, I know the artillery is going to come forward. I'll take the shot though. At least I routed one. That helps a little bit. Uh, they have one activation left, so I think I'm going to take a shot here. That's a plus four. Plus nine. Let's take this attack. See if we can force back that infantry. No luck. I disrupted myself. They have one activation left. I'll go ahead and attack with the cavalry. I disrupted myself. Man, that's too bad. Let me pass the initiative, force him to take that last move, and then I'll use my last attack with my cavalry to try to push back this infantry. No luck. I disrupted myself. Wow, four disruptions on me. That was a pretty bad first round, I would say. Okay. So I've never had to retreat before. Let me read this. After each side has used up all its initiative, you may choose to fight another round or you may retreat. Click on the fight next round button. Remember, before you must make any attempts to rally before the next combat round. So let me close this. You may attempt to rally up to two units. It'll lower my rating. You may attempt to rally units or retreat. You may not do both. Okay. So let's see if we can retreat here. How do I retreat? I'm not sure how to retreat, guys. This is a major battle. Orderly retreats. When a retreat from battle is selected, how do I choose to retreat from battle? It's not clear how to retreat. I think if I click fight next round, I will do a fight next round. I don't know how to retreat. That's odd. Um, let me pause the video and I'll try to look it up. Okay, I found the answer. I can't retreat until, after, until the second round of battle. So basically it's not an option right now. Uh, so all I can do is fight next round. Let's hope some of my disrupted units recover. That's really important. So far I think two have recovered, but the other two did not, unfortunately. Alright, uh, initiative's over to me. No reason to really wait over here, I would say. Let's um, start shooting. I'm tempted to shoot at these or this artillery. Let's go ahead and shoot at this guy. No luck. And then here, that's a five, that's a six. Still versus the artillery. I killed it. 
Boy, that was lucky. That's good. Okay, still my initiative, it looks like. Um, I think I would like to take some shots here. So, let's see what we can get. Plus three, plus one, plus two. I think I'll go after this uh, Illinois Infantry. Not a lot of luck. Um, same deal, the Illinois Infantry before I can fire. Eliminated, that's lucky. And then here, I could either go after the art I think I'll do the artillery, that's a plus three. If I can drive it back, that takes away a plus one from both the other infantry units here. Okay, here if I can drive the unit away from the artillery, then I should get a better attack on the artillery. That's a plus five. Of course, this unit still has to fire, so I'd love to get a result on him. Let's go ahead and take an attack on him, because if we can get a result, yep, then he won't fire. Now we'll try to drive back this infantry or the cav, one of the two. Let's go straight, or sorry, the artillery. Let's go straight for the artillery. A plus six is pretty good. That's a good attack, yep. All right, and last attack. We'll try for this Iowa infantry. No luck. But we can't complain, we had good luck this round. Routed. So I'm now down to one unit in the center. If I lo And on the left. If I lose one unit in either place, then I'm forced to retreat, which I now am forced to retreat because he's killed everything on the left. So he'll be able to pursue me. Wow, three hits on the pursuit. That's huge. He killed three, a cavalry and two infantry. That's, and I lost the leader, Forrest. He's a six. He's a very good leader. That is a shame. Amazing. So it wasn't a complete defeat because I did kill some of his units, but um, kind of ugly there on the pursuit. I've actually never seen a pursuit that was that effective. Um, so he only lost four units, and I lost five plus a leader so big win for him there goes st louis there, there's no chance to hold it now because the rail line doesn't run to st louis oh good that's lucky i got well i don't know if it's lucky but i'm glad to see it uh, i think it maybe was overdue strict neutrality to sympathy so i should get a modest amount um of aid if I have a port that's not blockaded by Union Naval Forces, which actually will probably be rare. Probably usually I'll be blockaded by Union Naval Forces. <clears throat> okay, it's my turn. I have no cards. Uh, let's check my blockade runners. I have one in port. Let's send him out. He's in Savannah, which is an open port. Out he goes. He should get out with no problem. All right. Um, I don't really have anything to do um, with my garrisons. They're all at two, which is probably where they need to stay to avoid um, being invaded. Um, I think I need to fall back here at Louisville with the few troops remaining. I don't believe I can rail out. Nope, I'm going to have to walk out. So the best way to do that is just, I think, walk by land through Missouri. Unfortunately, I, I'm going to give up St. Louis, and they'll also take Missouri at that point. Uh, that's one of my activations here. Let's see if I can attack directly. Oh, he retreated out of Cincinnati, but I can chase him. Let's do that. So I get a, a lopsided battle here. It's a minor battle, though, so it's much easier for him to defend.
put my best infantry in the forest so that it doesn't get shot. I think this is my best infantry. And then for the others, um, let's stick out some more artillery. You know what? I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, let's put this artillery out. Let's put out some more infantry. And actually, I'm going to pull back this infantry and put out, I think, another artillery. I don't know if I'm overdoing the artillery. I don't want to put any cavalry out because, well, I could actually stick a cavalry out. That They're really good in that kind of terrain, so let's stick my best cavalry out there. Um, <clears throat> and then I've got this infantry, which is pretty decent. So potentially I could pull back a smooth bore. But... I think this actually is my best, so I'll, I'll keep it up there. All right, so I've got a bunch of cavalry. I need a corps commander. Um, stick Hardy up there, and we're ready to fight. Oh, it's my shot. Okay. Um, we want to hit this rifled musket or the cavalry or this rifled musket, so let's shoot with our best Actually, let's shoot with our cavalry. Let's see what we can get. Plus seven, plus five, plus eight. That's pretty good. What could I get with my best infantry? Plus 10. That's fantastic. So yeah, let's shoot with the best infantry with a plus 10 here. No luck. Let me take my best artillery. Let's see what his best attack is. It's a plus 10, we'll do that one. No luck. Again with an artillery. Disrupted him. He's charging my guns with his cavalry, he got disrupted. Okay, it's back to me. Uh, let's send an artillery after this infantry. No luck. Boy, my shooting is abysmal here. Disrupted him. Finally, something happened good. Um, we'll shoot at that infantry. Good, we eliminated him. Super duper. That's a plus 11. That's pretty good. Let's go here, though prevent him from getting a good fire at me. He just disrupted. Last shot. Let's see if we can disrupt something else. Here's a plus eight. Let's take this attack. Crowded. Good. If I have an activation left, I will move a unit up, but I don't know if I do. Oh, he eliminated one. That's too bad. I think he cannot retreat yet because it's first round. So, um, cavalry can move up and shoot in the same round. Oh, I have three guns here. That's silly. Uh, you always need a, you always need infantry to the side of your guns. So that was a bad idea. Oh, somehow it looks like I get to shoot this guy. So yeah, let's shoot him. Hmm. I guess I can freely reinforce in a minor battle. It, you don't have to spend a turn marching to the front. That's interesting. Um, I guess I wouldn't mind moving a unit out of the line here. So let's move this guy. Uh, may not move. Okay. All right. We'll just fight the next round. My mistake here, by the way, is that I have a, a artillery without an artillery on both sides. 
which you usually want an artillery on both sides, or sorry, a, a infantry on, on either side to make the artillery supported. I can hardly talk here. He's eliminated another unit, it looks like. That's too bad. We'll try to hit his strongest unit. We disrupted it, that's good. cavalry which means he won't be able to cover the retreat unless he rallies him and this should be hopefully a really deadly retreat for him because I have two cavalry and he has none his front line is empty all he has is routed units so let's hope this is huge six hits yep I killed everybody and I think I might kill the leader also And I, yep, I got the leader, I believe. Completely destroyed, brilliant. That was a big win. Okay, um, what else can we do here? Over in the DC area, he's got 15 in Philadelphia, so I don't think I can really threaten that instead. Um, I think I'll go hang out in Baltimore. I'll combine these two. I believe with 13 units I can probably successfully hold Baltimore against an attack unless he has a lot of repeating rifles. Speaking of repeating rifles, none so far for him. So that's good. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to do so I will end this turn. Let's see what the... Oh, I get a card. So King Cotton helps me influence the Europeans. I like this card, let's do it. We lost one from attrition here because we don't control a rail line back to friendly territory. I'm probably lucky I only lost one. Union got five determination from West Virginia voting to stay in the Union. These are the roles for each city to increase fortification. I think it's 10% per turn per city, so it looks like I got pretty lucky on that turn. Okay, for my builds, um, let's go with, let's see what we can get with an ironclad. If we can hit two units blockading, I would build one, but I can't. Um, And then we have uh, blockade runners. I believe I'll build another one. We'll put them at Savannah. The more blockade runners I can build up and keep alive, the better. I'll just keep getting more and more income. I would say on average, they probably give you about four income every four turns. So that's about one income per turn, roughly. Um, okay, here, let's go ahead and produce actually yeah, I might go with two blockade runners I think I will I'll put them, put them also in Seattle and then for my other units um, I'm trying to think if I really want to buy a cavalry I think I'll buy one cavalry I'll buy one artillery or I could just get a whole bunch of infantry let's do that alright so seven infantry and a cavalry um, could have gone for a rail capacity, but boy, that seems like splurging. Let's just do this. Reinforcements are being placed. This phase seems a little slow. I wish it would go quicker. Okay, so it's my turn. Let's check. Let's play King Cotton. 
move the European intervention in my favor, and then we'll bring our blockade runners home. Savannah's open, so that's the easy choice, I think. But it's busy. We can only bring one a turn there. Um, do I try to, try to run the blockade to another city or leave them out? I think I'm going to leave them out. And then I'm going to send out two blockade runners from Savannah. All right, we'll go with this. So one will come home, one stays out, and two more went out. Four dollars. All right, now I've got some extra units here. Before I move those, let's try to take care of this attrition situation here. Um, I think what I want to do is go, be, instead of taking Cincinnati, although I could take Cincinnati. Actually, yeah, I think I'll take Cincinnati. So let me send one unit into Cincinnati only. My weakest, so let me find maybe a smoothbore. Zero, the guy from Texas. So I'll send this infantry regiment or brigade from Texas into Cincinnati. May not move into enemy held territory unless they're commanded by a leader. That's interesting. Okay, so I'll send a leader along. We can send Bragg. Also run out the guy from Texas somehow he got re he got merged back into my stack I think all right so brag with the Texas regiment we'll go into Cincinnati and take it and then I'll move the main army over here to besiege Indianapolis I will also retreat again from the st. st. Louis region back into southeast Missouri um, Let's see, what's next? Let's see what's going on over here at Maryland. I've got one unit, it looks like, in Baltimore. He must have been recruited. So let's combine those. And then, um, let's see what else we have to move around. I've got, I'm trying to select this unit. There we go. That's actually a nice big force. I've got six rail. This would cost five. So do I want to send it to Baltimore and then march on Philly? Or do I want to reinforce this um, success I've had over here at Indianapolis? I am kind of inclined to reinforce Indianapolis. So let's do that. How far can I rail? Can I rail directly to Cincy? No. Can I rail to Louisville? Yes. Okay, and then let's send, I have one rail remaining. So we'll split this unit. And we'll rail them up to Louisville. Then let's combine these and we will march out Ah, I need a leader to march out of there. Okay, let's try to send a leader from Baltimore. We'll send Buckner. And you know what? I think I'm going to send um, also... No, I can't send another infantry. I was going to say another infantry, but I actually don't have the rail capacity to do that, so that won't be happening. Somehow I've lost track of Buckner there. There he is, I think. Okay. I'll send him here, and then I will group up these guys. And now that they're commanded by Buckner, they can march out. I think now since I have a unit here, a unit here, and a unit here, I have a rail line to Cincinnati and this guy won't die from attrition. So that's the hope, the thought. 
I'm out of rail. I have two activations, but I don't think I want to do use those um, because I would just march this guy at Vicksburg into the wilderness, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, so let's go ahead and end the turn. See what December 1861 Union moves are. Repeating rifles. Those are great. He added it to the units moving out of Philadelphia. Oh, he's advancing from Philadelphia. I wonder why he's not just marching into St. Louis. He's bombarding it instead. I guess he'll do that with an activation. the entrenchment of New Orleans to zero. Oh wow, how did he catch me? I, I didn't, I don't know how he got there. Did he play a card to move two? I'll try to retreat, failed to retreat, it's going to be slaughtered. Boy oh boy oh boy, this is just a disaster. I honestly don't understand at all how he caught me. as well have a corps commander. I'm going to lose every unit here, including Stuart, who's a really good general. That's a puzzle. I don't understand that at all. I guess maybe it's my initiative? Okay, so where to shoot here? I just got invaded by my girl, so I had to shut down for a minute, but I'm back. Let's go ahead and fire at this guy. Oh, we routed one. Awesome. That's great. But my cavalry's routed. Alright, my shot. This is my last shot. Let's make it a good one. I think I should hit their cavalry because he'll be good in the pursuit. Maybe there's some small chance I can get away with the unit. Ideally, a leader would be the most important thing to get away with here, actually. eliminated yep I am certainly done well this is I don't I honestly don't understand what happened there how he caught me from two two territories away I I can't move two territories with my units I didn't see him play a card but maybe I just missed it yep both leaders dead boy that is a heavy heavy blow I see how he caught me this territory wraps around St. Louis and it's adjacent to both territories. So I should have gone, actually there was nowhere, I could, there's absolutely no way to get away. Even if I had gone to this territory, he would have been able to catch me. So I was dead no matter what I did. I think leaders might be able to move too, so maybe I should have just run away with the leader. So now Memphis is completely open at this point. Um, let me try to take Indianapolis, and then maybe I can rail units to Memphis. That's the only thing I can really think of to do. Um, yep. Oh, it's January, and in January, if you move anything, you take big attrition. So actually, I don't want to move anything in January. All right, so we have blockade runners to go out. And 
one to bring in to Savannah. There's still one waiting. I'm tempted to go ahead and bring one into a port that is already blockaded uh, because otherwise I'm going to sort of stack up blockade runners in the weeding box. But let's wait a turn. No, let's bring them in to, let's say, maybe DC. Hopefully he makes it. 10% chance he does not make it. All right, he made it. see what the Union does on this winter turn. If they move, they hopefully will take attrition. Uh, I can get reinforcements at Vicksburg or get a Rebel Yell card. Let's go with Vicksburg. I need troops. It looks like the Union did basically what I did, which is nothing due to the weather. I can play Father of Waters here and get two units at Vicksburg, which I need, or outside of Vicksburg, I guess. Uh, I'll just have to leave them there. I can't move them because of the uh, weather. I think that's it for, for that. Uh, I've got two blockade runners in port. Let's try to run the blockade. And then I've got two waiting, so I'm going to definitely send one into Savannah. And the other, do I want to take the 10% chance into DC? I think I will. Let's see if he makes it. Good. All right. Um, I think that's all I can do other than railing. I can rail move troops. Let me see. He's up here at Harrisburg. I think I'll wait there. I'm going to rail this unit. To Memphis. Oh, I thought I could rail successfully without attrition, but I cannot even rail. Um, no, I'm not going to take the chance at attrition. It's really harsh. I don't remember what the exact rule is, but I remember it's it's pretty harsh. You can lose the unit pretty easily. Allows the Union player to recruit a free artillery and add a, adds a foundry. So I think I might send out an ironclad to um, DC. Let's see if we can open that port up for the blockade runners to get in and out. And then... Um, I'll go ahead and build one artillery, actually maybe two because I need to form an army along the Mississippi. I'll give it a cavalry that uses a lot of my money up and then the rest I'll spend on infantry, six infantry. Okay, boy, losing those leaders really hurt. Pause it here now that we've gone through the winter. 
Looks like we sunk the Union ship off of DC, so that should open up the blockade of a bunch of cities, Norfolk, uh, DC, and Baltimore, all of them. Okay, so I'll pause it here. We're at March 1862. Um, we'll continue next time. Kind of an interesting game. It's not definitely not going all my way, but it doesn't look terrible either, other than along the Mississippi.